Hey guys, hey guys, welcome back. And today we are going to be looking at Prodigy Math Game. Now, if you're not familiar with Prodigy Math, it is a application. You can put it on your phone, you can put it on your tablet, you can play it on the computer. Um, and it's a way, a fun way for children to learn and reinforce math concepts, but it's done in kind of an RPG role-playing game way. So this is a program that I was not familiar with until a few years ago, um, and they started, my daughter started to play it at school, and um, they would allow her to have her account information so she can play at home as well. And so over the years, um, I've grown to love it watching my daughter play. And now myself, my daughter and my son, we all have accounts um, for Prodigy. Now Prodigy does curriculum and the curriculum goes from first grade up to eighth grade. Now when a young student, <clears throat> excuse me, when a student um, signs up for Prodigy and it's super simple. It is free to play. Um, there is a paid membership, but that membership really is not necessary to get the majority um, of the benefits from this particular program. The, the membership will give you access to cosmetics. It will give you access to tutoring, um, but mostly it gives you access to cosmetics in slightly fa faster leveling. Um, but that's about it. So in any event, when a student makes an account, uh, they can, um, as they go about doing the math problems, the game will give them a variety of math problems from first grade up to eighth. And as they get them right, as they get them wrong, the game will calculate, kind of figure out where that student needs to be placed. Now, once they, the game has kind of figured out, okay, we think your student needs to be first grade, we think they need to be fifth grade, sixth grade, they will begin to give them um, math questions within like a one to two grade range, um, but focusing on that core game. Now, as a parent, you are welcome to have your own parent account. You're also welcome to um, have an account where you can actually play with your children. So with that, you know, for me, I have I have a parent account so I can monitor what my kids are doing. I can dictate if I want to override the grade analysis that the game has set for my kids. And I do, I have overridden both of my kids' um, grades. So my son is set to first grade. He is in kindergarten and first grade is the lowest level that they offer. Um, so he can do quite a bit of the first grade math by himself, but there's still a good portion that he needs assistance with. Where my daughter, she is on fourth grade. Now, the reason why I have her overridden for fourth grade is because she's never completed the curriculum. So I want her to complete the curriculum because as a homeschooling family, I am seeing now that I am the one who is leading her education. I'm seeing a lot more gaps in her education. So while we might have a homeschool book for sixth grade, she's still struggling with fifth and sixth grade concepts. So I said, let's go back to the beginning. We know that you can do fourth grade. Let's reinforce the fourth grade and then we will move on to fifth grade. So she's about 70% of the way through the fourth grade curriculum in this particular program. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so you have that option as a parent to override. It shows you, it breaks down all of the skills that your child is learning. It tells you how well they are doing with the questions that are being provided to them. Are they getting them right? Are they getting them wrong? Um, what areas do they need growth in? So I love that about how this game is laid out, just how detailed it is as a parent. Now there is a teacher portion of this, which I do not have access to. Um, 
but what I do have access to as a parent, I really enjoy. Now there are, you can send your children rewards if they do well. You know, if they can say, um, student A, I want you to answer 50 questions. I want you to answer 20 questions. And if they complete that goal, then you as a parent can send them little in-game perks, which is really nice. Um, so I really like that. And I, I love the fact that you can track what you what your child is learning through the game. Now, it is set up like a game, not just a, you know, very strict pencil and paper um, math class. So there is so many fun activities to do. Um, my little one likes Tower Town. He can go there and just do, do his little first grade math and he is happy as a clam. My oldest likes Harmony Island. Harmony has more challenging um, little battles that you can face um, and math problems that you face there. You know, I, I like doing the storylines. So, <laughs> and for me as a parent, I set up my account because my daughter was coming home with schoolwork when she was in public school. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's been 30 plus years. I don't remember all of this. So how do I, who's been out of school for 30 years, you know, how do I keep my mind fresh and be able to help my children as they are going through this process of learning this stuff that I learned a long time ago. So that's the reason why I made my account. So my account is set for fourth grade because when I made my account, my daughter was in fourth grade and I needed some refreshers. <laughs> And so I am working through the fourth grade curriculum side by side with my daughter. So as we go back and forth between Prodigy and our homeschool, you know, book math, you know, I'm there. I'm in the fight with her. You know, I can help her work through things. I'm there in the fight with my little one. I can help you. Okay, this is how we do base 10. Um, let me show you how to count that out. And so it, it's really been a great um piece to add to our homeschool life so i definitely think that it is something you sh should can consider and quite honestly it's fun <laughs> the graphics are great the storylines are cute um the kids can just be about themselves and just you know have fun and um you don't have to necessarily worry about madness that you have to worry about in other games that you would find online. So I do like that as well. All right, so as you see in the background video and images, um, the world, again, it's a very beautiful, um, beautifully designed world. They are, I want to say about 12 or 13 different locations within the world that you can visit. Each one has its own storyline. You have a home, like home base, um, where you can invite other players over to um, check out the, your little house. You have um, different areas that have different storylines. You have areas where you can battle um other players you know you can have a friends list my kids are always like mommy you need to send a friend request i'm like baby i'm an adult i don't need a friend request from anybody that i did not birth <laughs> okay <laughs> that's not why mommy is here but you guys can have friend requests with other players go for it you know um so there's a variety of different activities for you to engage in the battles um, you will battle creatures that you find out in the world. And in order to defeat that creature to progress into whatever storyline you're doing, you have to complete the math problem. Some problems are easier than others, but they're always grade specific. Okay. Um, so, and it just depends on where you're at in the curriculum you might be at a, a place where okay i know how to do base 10 you know this this is pretty easy so this battle should be pretty quick but then you might get to an area where 
you know, maybe you're adding three and four digit numbers, you know, if you're first grade and, and, you, and you're and you kind of stuck on that because it's new for you. So it might take you a little bit of time, you know, and that's okay because um, if it takes you a minute, if it takes you two minutes to figure it out, the game will still be there. It won't necessarily kick you out. You will have to have an extended amount of um, inactivity for them to kick you out of the game. So... Take your time, work through the math lessons. Um, there's pencils you can use on the screen um, as like a whiteboard to work through your math problems. You can use your keyboard. You can use the numbers on the screen, the keypad on the screen to put in your answers. I love the different ways that this program works for different levels of um accessibility that might be needed and so you can play it you know the instructions with sound so oh excuse me all right so let's look at characters every character can be completely customized you can customize your skin color hair color eye color hair style um and then you have your clothes your clothes and your weapons, which is a wand, all of that are things that you earn as you progress throughout the game. Now, there are certain events that take place. Like right now, we're in our summertime event. And so I believe my crown of stars and my superhero costume are from the summertime event. Okay, so as you are playing through, you are earning currency and there's different types of currencies and um you can go and you say hey i like those boots with the flowers in it i want to get those boots i like that superhero costume i want to wear that and each costume um piece each um each relic each set of boots each wand will all have different stats um, attributed to it that can help you as you're battling the creatures out into the world. So it is a mix of gameplay and mathematics and it to me it absolutely makes learning fun. My first grader, excuse me, my kindergartner and my sixth grader honestly could be on Prodigy all day if I let them. 100% <laughs> they could be on Prodigy all day you know and then i'm like okay look mommy needs i need my computer back guys like i need my tablet you can't i know you love the game but i, I have work to do guys um in any event so there are different settings that as a parent you can set for your kids there's um settings in terms of like sound and um game sound volume all of that good stuff oh excuse me and there's also a pet journal. Now, in the pet journal, all your creatures, if you're familiar with Pokemon and Pokemon, you, know, you gotta catch them all. Well, we don't really catch your pets in this game. You rescue them, in quotation marks, you know, air quotes. So you rescue these different creatures that are out in the world. You have to solve a math problem in order to rescue your pet. There are some pets that are blocked behind the paid membership. So if you are a member, you have access to all of the pets. If you're not a member, you have access, I would say to maybe 60 to 70% of the pets available. Now each pet, um, most pets will have different levels that evolve you know so if you get one that's like level 20 by the time you hit level 60 it's going to change shape it's going to have different added abilities to it you know but you can go through you can mix and match your team to whatever combination you want and um it honestly it's just a fun little bright game my kids love it i love it if you get on the same server um, you know, you can frolic around in the different worlds together. My kids are just so like, mommy, 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 get on, come see this, come visit my house. I was like, okay, well, what server are you on? Like, what world are you in? And then we kind of meet up 
you know, and, and have little dance parties and, you know, we travel around together. And it's just been a really fun time being able to share my love for math with my kids and my love for gaming with my kids. And so I definitely recommend this um, program for you, for your family, if you're into to gaming. Um, some families are not, and that's cool. But if you are, I think you will definitely um, get a lot out of this, not just the the family fun time that you get with your kids as you're sitting there with them playing, but also, um, <laughs> you know, they, they are learning. My my little one is learning, you know, because sometimes I'll, I'll take what I am doing and I will put it to the big screen, to the TV, and I'll do homeschool math lessons, you know. And so my kindergarten is sitting there trying to answer fourth grade questions. And sometimes I have to help him, obviously, and break certain, break things down for him. But he shows great effort. And so, I mean, this has been such a benefit, I think, to our math curriculum for homeschool. So with all that being said, I definitely give uh, Prodigy Math two thumbs up. That is all I have to say, guys. But y'all know the drill. These kids out of bed. And I'll see you in the next video. Okay. Bye.